open with a statement and then raise your hand and we'll get to your questions. Yeah, well, it's always a great win. Uh, it's a great rivalry game. I know it means a lot to a lot of people in the state of Alabama. And I'm certainly proud of our players for the effort that they put in and you know, the game that we played uh, to win. You know, tonight, it's always great to win. I think there's a lot to learn in this game. Uh, you know, we didn't have our best week coming off the Georgia game. Uh, I didn't think we, you know, really sort of played our best or played to the standard that we'd like. But it's great to win. I want the players to enjoy the win. Uh, obviously, we have to um, be very technical about things that we need to do to get better. Um, you know, it's uh, really a sad time for me, uh, for Jaden Waddle and his family. Um, he's got a very similar injury to what uh, Kenyon Drake had. Um, you know, it's a high ankle sprain, but also a fracture. So um, they'll probably have to do surgery on him. Uh, we're going to fly him back privately with the doctors and take him right to Birmingham and uh, see what we have to do right away. Uh, if that's the case, then I'm, we're, we're pretty certain that it is, that uh, he, he would probably be out for the year. Um, so um, this guy's a great player. Uh, he's a great teammate. Uh, he's an exciting player to watch. Uh, hate it that you know people in college football can't see a great player uh, the rest of this season. and. Uh, but, you know, we had some other guys step up tonight and you know, they're creating an opportunity for somebody else and we're going to coach the players that we have and uh, do the best we can to try to get better. So, um, but that's about it. Coach, we'll start with uh, Brett Hudson from the Tesla Police Names. Hey, Coach, your, your defense got tested a lot downfield with the passing attack. How do you think the secondary stood up to that? Well, I think at times we did okay, but I think we gave up three, at least three big plays, uh, maybe four. Um, so they were running the ball a lot, and early in the game we weren't stopping the run really well, so we put a little bit more pressure on the secondary. In the second half, though, we really shouldn't have given up the plays because we were playing, you know, split safety coverages, but uh, we'll look at it and try to get it fixed, but you can't give up explosive plays. You gotta be able to stop the run and not give up explosive plays. But I thought the defense played better tonight. Uh, this is probably uh, the best we played, even though there's some plays in there that uh, you could be critical of. And uh, I'm sure we'll do everything we can to get them fixed. Uh, so, but I was kind of proud of the way the guys played. They played with a little more confidence and we were pretty aggressive overall. Okay, Michael, go ahead. I just wonder how the guys stepped in uh, with the model going down, uh, Slate Bolden, specifically, how do you think he played? I thought he played well. You know, he had a drop there, you know, in the end zone at the end, but uh, I thought he made some really good plays in the game, and, uh, you know, I thought Mac played really well, uh, made some really good throws. So, um, you know, that's, we need some of our young guys, uh, who is, this is one of the things that, not having a couple games outside the SEC where you could play some of these guys, we're going to have to have some of those guys step up and be ready to play, and they haven't really gotten much experience. Uh, it was good to get Bryce in there for a little bit tonight, um, moved the ball okay and did okay, uh, so he needs some experience as well. Okay, Alex. Uh, another big game for, for John Mechie. How would you sort of characterize his strengths and why he's been able to come on so strong this year for you guys? Well, he's a strong receiver. He's got good quickness. He's got really strong hands. I think he's a smart guy. He really plays the game well, uh, pays attention to detail, runs good routes. And he's fast, um, and he's quick out of a break. So um, he, he's really played well for us and come on, and we're going to need some other players to step up now as well. Coach. What's the status of Deontay Brown? And I know you haven't a chance to, to watch the film. You haven't had a chance yet. But what was your sort of first impression of the guys when you reshuffled there? Well, Deontay dinged his shoulder a little bit. I don't think it's anything that serious. But with the game being like it was, we were really kind of looking for an opportunity to play some other guys at some other positions they may have to play down the road anyway. So, um, you know, b Rob got a little nicked up, so we kept him out. And so we just kept a couple guys out. Uh, that we just didn't want him to get him any more banged up. And it gave some opportunity for some other guys to play. So it was good for Chris to play center. Chris played tackle. Uh, 
So it was, it was good to get those guys um, some playing time at various positions. Tony? Tony? Hey, you talked a little bit about the switch in or the punting situation. Can you just talk about that switch in punter and, and what you saw from Charlie Scott? I thought Charlie did a good job. Charlie punts the ball high. Uh, he's a little more consistent. The last couple of weeks, you know, he got here late. Uh, he wasn't here all summer. He wasn't here for a part of camp. So he's just sort of getting back into his rhythm. Uh, but I thought he did a nice job for us. He's, he gets the ball off quickly. He's got a lot of experience. He punted at Air Force for several years. So we just weren't getting the kind of consistency and performance that we needed. And, you know, there's a lot of things that go with punting. It's how fast you get it off, it's how much hang time you have, and can you put it in the right spots where we have the best opportunity to cover, and uh, I think we got that done tonight. Good. We'll go Stevens. Hey, Coach, I know, uh, you know Real Riker healthy this year, and he's kicking well, but what does it mean for you to have somebody that is really, you know, healthy, locked in, kicking? What does a healthy Real Riker mean for this team right now? Well, I tell you, it means a tremendous amount. It takes a lot of pressure off of you in a lot of situations where you feel very confident that you can kick a field goal from, let's say, 35 yards and in. And um, that's very comforting, right? Because a lot of times you get in situations and there's nothing sort of more demoralizing for a team when you, know, you have an opportunity to kick a field goal. Uh, you're already upset because you didn't score a touchdown or didn't continue the drive and then you miss it and it's really kind of a, a little bit of a psychological letdown. So to have a good kicker is really, really a positive. I think it's a weapon and I think Will has been done a really, really good job so far. We do need to do a better job when it comes to the kickoff. You know, we've tried a couple guys on kickoff. One of the things that Will was great at before his injury was, you know, he could kick it five deep pretty consistently. So we're, we're trying to work that part of it out with him and continue to make improvements there. But uh, I'd rather have a good field goal kicker and work on kickoff coverage than have it the other way around. All right, coach, that's, all that's all we got. Thank you. We're going to play that, guys.